Ladies and gentlemen, I love birth control Fortnite Quester bringing at you with another sweet little tutorial and guide only this one is all about the fishies the fishy fishy fishies now it is day two but I wanted to make sure I start getting some guides out to you guys now this is to in regards to the collections of the fish now I got one coming out with the characters here soon but all those locations individually have already been uploaded already on the channel feel free to go check them out all locations in details in locations the whole fly through so therefore you're not lost in anything but we're talking about fish today ladies and gentlemen and i got them all now now we're just easily going to go through it but what i want to do is just kind of break it out to you in little steps the first thing i want to discuss is this is going to take some time okay like i just finished it's near the end of day two i think it's uh god it's got to be close to midnight let me check my clock yeah, it's, it's about 11.30 at night, but at the same time, I do this for you guys. So make sure you like, subscribe, and share with your buddies. But the main focus I want to get to is how to get you, your fish, as fast as possible. So let's break this down into steps. Uh, through this video, I'm going to cover not only just uh, um, how, what the, how Battle Lab can actually tackle this, the best game modes, fishing types of regions, how to get a pro fishing rod for some of those fishes, and at the same time, where they're all located. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump into that first one, Battle Lab. So Battle Lab, most of you, what I used to do and through my previous ones is say, hey, just go through here, freaking go to your favorites, hit up Battle Lab, and freaking let's launch it up, you know? Well, the thing is, is when you go to options, if you don't do default, what happens is all the fishing poles disappear. See, Epic Games got a little bit smarter this year. So now also, when you uh, go to just default and you see these settings right here, this will work. Fishing poles will spawn and you will be able to actually load in and launch. One downfall to that though. Once you launch in, Every time you go fishing, like, and I will not lie, I literally went fishing for some of these fish. I think it was these two, yeah, these three, and, and maybe this one for, like, like two hours. I came out, backed out, but really, I, before I backed out, I was like, nope, I am definitely missing my black small fry. I got him, I caught him, and I got out, I backed out to the lobby from here, and literally, there was an error that popped up. Well, apparently... <laughs> Good old high and mighty freaking um, Epic Games decided to ban that stuff. So now, instead of actually having the time not worrying about the storm or anything, you have to go through all the individual game modes, which... Oh, sorry about that. Let's go game modes. So you got the solos, duos, uh, squads, trios. And yes, Team Rumble does work. Team Rumble is also a great one, but we're going to cover that here in a little bit. So, um, Battle Lab... Don't do it. Don't waste your time. Please learn from my mistake. Now, jumping into that se se second one, best game modes. Hands down, unless you got buddies that you just want to bail on, um, don't play trios, duos, or squads, okay? Because I played a couple squads, and I literally told them, hey, I gave them a heads up. I'm going to bail on you. I got challenges. I'm fishing. So they're like, all right, cool. So I literally go off and fish in left field, and yeah, that didn't work. So the first one I'm going to cover is Solos. Solos is a great opportunity. Why? Is because the, the storm takes a long time to get to you. So that gives you a great opportunity to get to those outer skirts or hit the coastal areas or, or wherever you need to go and get it done. All right? Plus with Solos, people are less likely to kind of rush at you, especially seeing as how they took the shock launcher out. Now also with that is uh, Team Rumble. Hands down, Team Rumble, my favorite. So if you got to catch your regular fish that count anywhere at any time and during any place, highly recommend Team Rumble any day of the week. Do it. Just put on I put it on Don't Fill, and I literally just locked out the lobby right here with the new menu that got put up. So I just put it on private, and I was done. So at the same time, just make sure that you use one of those game modes. If you want to use another one with your buddies and you all want to go fishing, cool. Go on that rampage. But now let's jump into that sex one, or that, uh, that, that, yeah, that, that very next one, which is... Uh, fishing regions. So jumping into our maps. Maps is location. So right here, right here is where your coastal regions are. There's four regions. There's coastal, there's forest, there's swamp, and there's mountainous. Don't worry about this bottom half of the map, okay? Just don't worry about it, okay? Consider this everywhere. Any kind of fish that says everywhere, that's this place, okay? So this, any kind of coastal fish, this is the coastal fish, all right? Now, any kind of swamp 
fish is in here. Now, I don't know why. I don't know what's going on or what Epic Games has planned. Maybe when all the ice or snow melts, something's going to happen. But I caught most of my dang swamp fish here. I could have swore I caught one like right in here somewhere. Maybe in here. I'm not sure, but definitely in here. In here is where I even caught my last one from the swamp. Okay, I know it doesn't look like it. The water's clean when usually it should be murky. Trust me, it's in here. Now, the mountainous areas. Mountainous is right here by the log jam lumber yard. So just hop in here, follow this. Now, down through here, there's not very many fishing spots because the water's running so fast. I guess that was a new, a new update. The same through through here. So just drop in through here. Again, Team Rumble, you're going to knock it out so quick and so fast and so easy. Uh, forest, now let's zoom in a little bit. Now, the main thing with forest is don't try to like, uh, you might catch a few right here, but mainly where you need to be focusing all your energy is these little fishing spots, okay? So the fishing spots right here at the Joneses or Joneses, Joneses, and also there's some little tiny fish spots here. And honestly, where I caught most of my, my forest fish are here, all right? So keep that in mind. So we covered um, our coast, our forest, our swamp, and our mountain. So now let's bring it right into how to get a pro fishing rod. Now, a pro fishing rod is one thing that cannot be, it's, well, let, let, it's an issue. So when you've got to try to catch a fish like this bad boy, which is probably the hardest fish to catch, uh, pro fishing rods, there is three ways that I'm going to talk about, okay? There's other little half, half made ways. Don't worry about those. So one, fishing barrels. You just go around, knock out freaking fish barrels, and then freaking start casting. You're going to find a pro fishing rod eventually. However, there's times where I've spent a long time looking for a pro fishing rod. I'm sure you have too, if you're trying to do this challenge. Number two, upgrade bench. The upgrade bench is what I recommend. Just save up some gold. Go knock out some cash registers, some couches, hit a big old town, and just freaking hit up all your upgrade benches. There's upgrade benches everywhere. So, like, what I did for the swamp right here is, like, if you need, like, an upgrade, you can literally drop in, like, a Team Rumble and drop anywhere where there's, like, an upgrade, okay? So, I think there's an upgrade bench uh, right in here, and, I mean, just, we're, there's, there's, no, there's not one up in there, but there's definitely one on here. And then just drop down, pick up a normal fishing rod, put, kick it in. This is the easiest way to get the pro fishing rod. You see, this is a gas station. There's fishing rods right there. And the upgrade station's right there. Best place I highly recommend for. Then you can go ahead and drop kill and blow yourself up in Team Rumble. But then literally you can go fishing where you need to. So that's number two. And the third and final one for you to get these fishies is a tent. The tent is a new thing that was introduced this chapter, which allows you to drop a tent, throw your blue fishing pole you just made, your freaking pro fishing pole, and throw it in there and save it for whenever you need it and carry it with you. The downfall to this is if you die, depending on the individual game mode that you are currently in, to include solos, before you can put it back in your bag... You lost your fishing pole. You see what I'm saying? So the great thing about Team Rumble, and like I keep recommending, you die, that's cool. S fly back. Do it again. You see what I'm saying? But make sure you stock up on fish because it's going to be hard. So, and that's all I'm going to talk about that. So now let's get into the fish. The fish is the dish. Tasty fishies. Let's go. And at any point in time, if you need to uh, pause the video or rewind to get any of this other information, feel free to do so. But let's jump into that first fish, which is the orange flopper. Now this you're going to find anywhere. Don't worry about trying to look for it. It's going to find you. It's, <laughs> it's literally anywhere on the map. So night, nighttime, daytime, pole, uh, fishing pole, uh, freaking harpoon gun, you name it, you're going to find these left and right. This and the green flopper, one of the two most main fish. Now, the blue flopper is uh, more, for me, I don't know why it says anywhere, but it, I find them more on coastal areas and like rivers, but at the same time, these three can be found anywhere. I'm kidding. I'm not kidding. Look at that. 53, 46, 52. You're going to find them. Better yet, they're going to find you. So don't worry about these. They will find you. Let's move on to number four. Number four, 24. Now, this one is pretty common. You're going to find it. You're going to see it. Don't try to look too hard because it's going to, you guys are going to kind of meet each other in the middle of the freaking uh, flower field, you know? <laughs> so, again, it's found anywhere. Regular fishing pole. Uh, just make sure you're scooting anywhere. Uh, I highly recommend Team Rumble for all of these. Oh, sorry. 
So I highly recommend Team Rumble for these right here. Um, the main reason is because it, the Team Rumble, the map can take you anywhere, and these can be caught anywhere. You see what I'm saying? So the only issue is there's a lot of people fishing trying to do this, and this video, once it hits, there's going to be a lot of people wanting to go fishing. All right? So one person might hit it. They'll share it. They'll upload it in the freaking Facebook, the freaking Instagram, everywhere. So just... Keep tracking. So let's go back to our collection. So fifth fish, the black striped shield fish. Now this one's in the coastal areas. And like I said, coastal areas is this big old freaking circle area right here. Now, usually what I like to do is just, uh, okay. So if you zoom in on the map, okay, again, I got most of my settings turned up. So here's a dock. 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 Like you can land. Here's a dock. Here's a dock. Here's a dock. Here's a dock. There's fishing poles everywhere. Try to stay away from this area. Cause this is like a hit or miss. If you see one here. Um, so like I said, it's here, 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 like you're going to find one team rumble, drop, get it and start going fishing because that's where you're going to find the black striped shield fish. Or if you're in that region, it's going to find you. So moving on to number six, the green shield fish. This is only in forest areas, normal fishing rods. So zooming out a little bit. So where you're mainly going to find these is these little fishing spots. Okay. I think I actually fished both of these and that's where I caught mine. Now they're kind of rare as you see, <laughs> but I only remember fishing these fishing spots like once or twice. So it's not really hard to find. You just need to make sure you hit the fishing spots. So maybe do this in squads or trios when they're all looting up and you got some decent weapons. Those are the spots to hit if you want to do that or just solos go to town. All right. So moving on to number seven, which is the pink shield fish. Kind of rare. Um, this is one of the last five fish that I caught. The reason why is because... It requires a pro fishing pole, and like I said, they're so hard to find. So the thing with the pro fishing pole anywhere, uh, if, if you want to learn all about the pro fishing poles, where to get them, where to find them, where's the best place to do that, go back to the previous part of the video. It'll explain it. I don't want to drag this video on any longer than I have to because I want to get you guys all this information in as little amount of time as possible, all right? So, again, pro fishing pole anywhere on the map, and you'll be set, all right? All right, good. Moving on to the next one. Number eight, the light blue shield fish. Now, oof, gosh, almost got that max size. Three star. So 21, obviously it's going to, it's pretty easy, right? Kind of like this one. So 24, 21. So not as common as the floppers, but about half the time you're going to find these guys, right? So when you cast them, you're usually catching floppers, but every once in a while you're going to catch these shield fish. So don't worry about where to go exactly on the map or where you're at. Um, they're going to find you, okay? So just make sure that, you know, if you're looking... Just make sure it's anywhere and you got a fishing pole, but just go to town. And they're only in fishing holes, okay? These So far, everything I'm talking about is mainly in fishing holes. You could probably catch them outside a fishing hole, but man, the probability is really low, okay? So moving on to number nine. Let's get into those slurp fish. Ah, kind of miss the slurp factory. So the blue slurp fish. Okay, so this one is found anywhere. So um, I found about 30 of them. Now the thing is, is you literally will find these everywhere. Like, I, I don't know if it was a new update that came out today with, uh, uh, I don't know, with all this new little, uh, patching and the menus and stuff. But at the same time, like I am finding a bunch of these everywhere. And mainly I I've been coast areas right here in this little, uh, uh, I guess you could say like foresty areas right here, right here in the swamp areas, cuddle, a camp cuddle, uh, log jam, lumber yard, like all these places. Like I'm, I'm literally finding them everywhere. I only found like a couple up here, like only a couple, but everywhere else I'm literally finding it. So don't worry about it. It's going to find you. Just make sure you have a fishing pole and go to town. All right. Next one is that yellow slurp fish. Yellow slurp fish number 10 can be found in swamp areas. And again, that region is located right here directly south of, uh, shifty shafts okay and directly west of coney crossroads it's this big old freaking area again epic games hasn't released anything i don't know why if the snow is going to melt and then just all this nasty crap is going to flow into it or somehow it's going to get polluted but usually i think a swamp is nasty and murky and dirty but somehow this is clean and they call it a swamp and that's where i caught it so literally yellow slurp fish right obviously it's going to be kind of a pain but it's a regular fishing pole you're going to find it. Just make sure you're freaking fishing here. All right. So moving on to that purple slurp fish. This one is a little bit easier as long as you're looking for it. So make sure you grab a normal fishing pole right here. It's in mountainous areas. So now this is where we're going to go back up to the log jam, uh, 
Lumberyard, again, don't worry about these areas because I think the water is moving so fast that there's little to no freaking, uh, 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 I got stunned, uh, fishing rods. So mainly just try to get here to the dock as quick as possible. This one or this one, grab your fishing rod and start just throwing it all up in here. All right, there might be like one or two as you're swimming down. The, the water flow is going down to the swamp area. So if you start running out, you can swim down here and knock out one or two more just for a last chance. But again, that was number 11, purple slurp fish. Black slurp fish, one of the last two fish I caught. Second hardest fish, okay? So black slurp fish, literally, I literally caught this one last and the one this one before it was my last two so black slurp fish coastal areas at night now i'm gonna tell you where i found it okay because there's only one <laughs> so black slurp fish you have to be looking for it so mainly what i did okay so let's see coastal areas and at night so this is what i did i literally loaded up a game oh with some buddies and i told them hey goodbye have fun and i dropped right here in the coastal areas okay so what happened was I actually found a, uh, I actually, uh, oh, sorry, I was, was, um, but anyways, I literally, right here, bam, okay, so if I zoom in, you see this little building right here, there's an upgrade bench in it, so I literally, uh, just grabbed a pole, my buddy pointed it out, I upgraded one, and I literally just started catching just a few fish, I started gathering all the med kits I can, and again, this fish has to be caught at night, right? And usually most game modes spawn you in daytime. So, and then I literally hit off in this little bush over here, staring at my first fishing hole, waiting for nighttime. Now, it does take about nine to ten times for uh, the sun solstice to literally go all the way around and cross across or go across. Again, that's roughly about nine, ten minutes-ish. Okay, I could be off by like 30 seconds or, or something. But you can watch it. So if you if you can't see it because the storm is in your way, just look down your sights of a shotgun or the MK uh, and just kind of wiggle up and down with your sight and you'll be able to see the globe of the sun. So as it goes down, once it crests that thing or the, the horizon, start casting, man, because that's literally where I found it. I started, I started going here, fish, 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 fish. I didn't even bother with here because there was like none. This is all where you walk. I fished, fished, fished. I didn't skip this area. I went back here and I started coming back around. And then I started going back towards this dock and I caught it right here. I literally had fished everything here. And it was the last freaking fish I caught. Sorry. It was it was literally, yeah, it was literally the last fish I caught. I think I caught a flapper afterwards, but literally it was like the last one. And I was so happy. But by then, at the end of the trios match or squads match, my buddies were all the way, all the way over here. So I undoubtedly died so the hardest fish white slurp fish pro fishing rods swamp areas at night okay so swamp areas right here right so what i did was uh well first of all a buddy helped me out <laughs> and he's like hey look you got to get a pro fishing rod i got a pro fishing rod i tried doing that once in a match and i literally fished here for an entire night cycle okay so literally nine to ten minutes surviving off a of fish in the water don't do that Go to Team Rumble, land up here, grab a fishing pole, upgrade it for 300 gold, die, and when the circle in the map that you see before you even drop down here is right here, just freaking fall here and start fishing. It literally was like the third fish I caught. Even though it was the last and hardest fish to catch, pro fishing rod, upgrade, hit the swamp area right here, and make sure it is at night just stare at the sun there's tons of bushes hide make sure you got some weapons and some heels just in case the storm goes somewhere and freaking cat literally three casts i got it so happy now i'm able to make this video now these little ones i'm just going to kind of speed through this is the main little fall small fries okay so you get the light blue small fry uh, your tan small fry and your purple top small fry. Now these ones can be caught pretty much anywhere, but do not cat, not, do not go fishing in actual fishing holes. So if you see a fishing hole, just cast right over to the right of it. Normally, what I do for this one is I go into Team Rumble, I load it up, and when I'm in the map, um, while everyone say the circle is right here perfectly, I'm literally over here fishing. And again, there's no fishing holes. It's just an area to fish that is where you will catch these guys super quick okay six 
13, 5. Again, you'll have to find them, but again, just don't cast on a fishing hole. Now for this one, it's kind of the same way. I think I've caught one in a fishing hole by accident, but otherwise don't catch them in fishing holes. They're just normal, just like the other small fries, but they can be, only be caught at night. So again, look at that sunlight and see where it is. If it's over here, if it's over here, if it's in the middle of the sky, don't even bother trying to go for this fish. All right, back out, go to another match or just wait and camp in a bush. It's up to you. So next one, blue small fry is number 18. So coastal areas, coastal areas, again, is this little circular area right here. Um, and there's tons of areas to get freaking uh, <laughs> uh, fishing rods. So no excuses for that one, okay? So literally, blue small fry, easy day. Again, I went for all the other fish. So this is something that you got to look for is these. That's why I only got like five. 13, I don't know why I got 13 of that. I think I was bored with one guy, and we're just seeing who can catch the small, most small fries. And that was what was most common. So, moving into number 19, the jellyfish. The slurpy jellyfish. So, slurpy jellyfish can be found anywhere. So, let's see. Uh, just looking at the map, honestly, like I said, that's a team rumble. Remember this whole side of the map? Like, draw a line diagonally right here, right? Meow. Don't even do anything with this side of the map. Don't even do it. Don't even think of it. This just is everywhere. This is considered everywhere, not a region. Mountains, swamps, coastal forest for spots i should say okay so again anywhere slurp jellyfish 35 kind of like the other shield fish uh you're gonna catch them about half the time okay so don't really go looking for it it will find you just have a fishing pole <laughs> all right so peely jellyfish number two or there's only two i'm gonna tell you why why is because i looked everywhere for this damn thing Okay, I looked everywhere. I, I literally read online, found it all, and found out there was in mountainous areas. So I'm all up in here. I'm freaking fishing. I'm trying to find a fishing pole over here, or, or find fishing holes over here, here. And finally, I literally just caught it off the deck. But the issue was, I just needed a, I just needed a pro fishing pole. I just happened to land one game in Team Rumble, land on a pro fishing rod, and freaking cast. And it was like one or two casts, and I got it done. Easy money. You see what I'm saying? Easy money. So, again, you have to find it. Pro fishing rod. Go back to the beginning of the video if you want to know how to get those or how to actually store those and save them up for later. Now, jumping into number 21, the purple jellyfish. Okay, eight of them. So, these aren't as common, but pretty common still. Coastal areas, again, big old circular areas uh, over here. Now, I think I caught one that was up here. Some people might try to do their coastal areas up here. Oh, it looks like the coast. Or, better yet... This is all a coastline. No. You want higher probability? Go to where this is actually called the coast. I don't know, because it looks like a beach. <laughs> you want to go to all the freaking, you know, the snowbird territory, go for it, man. But you go right here, then you're going to find it, okay? So seriously, coastal areas, nighttime, daytime, just have a fishing pole. Uh, it, you're going to be fine. Now, this is one of those kind of weird ones. So Dark Vanguard Jellyfish. And again, these are all fish from last season. They just recycled them and threw them in here. So they may add more. They may, t you know, do whatever. But the Dark Vanguard jellyfish, it says at night. At night. Okay? I only caught three. So this is why I was trying to look for, like, this guy. And probably when I was trying to look for this guy, I found one, one of these, two of these. But I definitely know one of them I caught right here. It was, like, right here, kind of going through this area. Okay? But again, of course, it says at night. Some people say you can f catch them in swamps. Again, swampy areas are right over here. Uh, but again, it literally says anywhere. So of course you can catch it in a swamp area. It just has to be at night. So make sure you look at that sunlight. So moving into that number 23. 23 is cuttlefish. Cuttlefish, or sorry, the cuttle jellyfish. Number nine. So again, as long as you're looking for these, you're going to find them. Swamp areas. All right, so top left part of the map right here where this little island is. Mainly, if you just stand on this island, there should be at least uh, four to cast to. Sometimes there's a five or a far one. And then I just kind of swim the perimeter. That's literally what I do. I just kind of, or if I start on one side because there's a big old battle going on over here, I'll just start swimming the perimeter. They're still there. I'll just circle this, and then I'll start going over here. So by then, they're already gone, so I'll literally just finish it off. All right, so again, swamp areas right here. Just to make sure you all know, this is the swamp area. Okay. Now, moving on to molten spicy fish. So common. Again, tried, like this is one of those, 
uh, kind of like the floppers and the shieldfish. Don't worry about it. It's You don't have to look for it. It's going to find you. It's anywhere. So usually I think every six or seventh fish, maybe eighth fish, is this guy. Okay, so no matter where you fish, you this baby will find you. And I don't know why. Even though it says molten spicy, I figured maybe you'll throw it in a mountain. No, it's everywhere. So next one, the drift spicy fish. Now this one, pain in the butt. Why? Forest areas, right? Exactly. So let's zoom in. There's like one, two, three, four, five, maybe six. That's if there's a fishing spot in there. Again, these are fishing holes. Most of the time, these little things don't even have like one fishing spot. Truly sucks. But again, in here is a good one. But I usually just stuck to these two. Uh, go to these two. If you have time, hit these and then back out and redo it again. But yep, that's where you'll find it. The drift spicy fish. Again, kind of like this bat or this bad boy right here. <laughs> You've got to truly find it in a little rabbit hole in, in a freaking little fishing nook and you will get it. All right. Drift spicy fish. Number 26. Come on, guys. Three's left. Three left. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. White spotted spicy fish. Now, at the same time, mountainous areas, you, once this guy hits your dock or hits your freaking lift, you're going to know he's there. You're going to know you have him, okay? There was one, as soon as I saw this freaking big old red puffy dude pop up on me in, my, in the mountainous areas, and again, I think I was literally, uh, I think I was down here just fishing out of like a bush or uh, like behind a tree because there was a battle going on right here in uh, Solos. Uh, so I was literally right here. I casted, and that big old red thing hit me up, and I just like, sweet. So I just start moving on to the next fish. Again, so mountainous areas is the log jam lumber yard. Not to confuse it with the swampy areas that's not even freaking labeled. That's directly south of uh, Shifty Shafts. Log jam lumber yard is your mountainous area. Okay, well, we're down to the last two. The Southern Spicy Fish, number seven. Now, this one was kind of hard at first, but I think with the new update, like I was saying, uh, with everything that they were pushing, um, they actually somehow made it easier to catch this fish. I don't know if that's true or not, but hey, I caught seven of them, and I caught like one of these. Yeah, I'm going to say it's easier. So Swamp Areas, again, right here. Team Rumble, best place to do it. Just pick up a fishing rod here or here. You gotta be, you gotta have a good drop. And Team Rumbles do have more like solid drops rather than that 500 meters off the ground kind of thing. Uh, so again, any questions? Just rewind. It'll be there. Uh, last but not least, again, I just want to get this video done so you guys can get it through. And again, you can pause this video throughout the entire thing to literally catch every single fish. Okay, so you don't miss a single one. I got them all, so you need to get them all. All right, so sky blue spicy fish. Now there's seven of them, absolutely pretty. My girl pointed this one out and she said, oh, it's so cute. I was like, that's exactly why I went to look for it, baby. <laughs> so anyways, three stars. I found her a three star one, coastal areas. And again, it will kind of find you, but it'll take some time. It needs some tender love and it is a seven. It's not like one of these thirties or fifties, you know? So it's at the same time, uh, coastal areas, Number 28, Sky Blue Spicy Fish. All right, so just to wrap up everything that we have just done is the freaking, uh, we not only covered the Battle Lab and how it it has issues and how uh, your ways could go around it, the best game modes to actually go fishing for all these bad boys, especially this evil one. Um, the fishing regions as far as how it's broken down and you can rewind to actually go over those. Uh, how to get a pro fishing rod as far as from uh, finding them around in the territories or how to be able to, you know, upgrade or, you know, you know, store them and save them for later. That's in the previous part of the video. You can always rewind for that. But at the same time, you have any questions, please throw them down in the comments. I'm big on constructive criticism. You got any questions, please, please ask them. I'm here to help you guys. I'm here for you. Love, peace, chicken grease. I appreciate you all. Y'all have a wonderful freaking night. I'm going to freaking crash out and go to bed. But at the same time, you all have a wonderful day. I'll just be hanging out. So make sure you like, subscribe, and share with your buddies. All right? Because I'm here for you guys. And the only way I get out there is with you. All right? So appreciate everything. You all take it easy. Happy holidays. Whoop, whoop.